だけどね。Hi there guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to get Audacity and what Audacity is, it is a free sound recorder and sound editor, music editor, audio editor, whatever you want to call it, um, so software program and it is free um, like the video I did before Camtasia, Cam no, not Camtasia, Cam Studio and that is a free um, um, screen recorder so this is to go with it with an audio editor. So this is a very good software and it is free as it says here now um, the free cross-platform sound editor and the website for this is audacity.sourceforge.net and this is what you'll be greeted with it looks nice so you know but going on here so this will be provided the link will be provided in the description so check it out so yeah so as you can see it works works for a lot of stuff it works for Mac, OS X, uh, Windows, and I don't know what this is, Linux, so whoever's using that is probably a little bit <laughs> So, yeah, whatever. But then you can know you can learn more about it, but I'm going to sort of just teach you the basics of it here. So, you can download this now, and it says for Windows, me, whatever, Vista. But if you go to the download here, um, series 1.2 or 1.3 in the beta, beta, whatever series. So I'm just going to go stick with the 1.2 because that's what I use at the minute and I find it's you know works good for now. So choose your operating system and just click Windows. Then you want to choose the installer here, Audacity installer. And then it'll bring you to this page and it says your um, download will um, start shortly. Sorry about that. Um, and it'll be here and save the file and once downloaded and installed it will look something like this when you've opened it up and you know if you just click record something might not happen it might just show no audio at all coming from the um, where you'd expect your microphone to come and that's because audacity might have not picked up that your microphone is there so if that's the case you want to go to edit preferences and then there'll be a couple of things here playback and devices that's going to be my speakers so that's in my headset and so I can hear the voice through my headset and I'm using a very cheap headset off Amazon and I think it cost me seven pound six pound seven pounds so um, or you know twelve dollars eleven dollars whatever and so you know you don't have to get your hands on a really expensive microphone one of those table microphones for the you know fifty quid seventy dollars whatever so where it says recording the device I'm gonna choose this my this is the crappy one that's built into my um, laptop like you can't even understand but this microphone here is the as it says there the high definition connect stand one don't have a clue that's the crap make that it is but I'm gonna choose microphone that one and then the channels just make sure it's on one mono because that's the one it'll work best with and there's a couple of other things you can go through but there's nothing really you need to mess around with there quality will be fine at first so make sure it's on one mono and I'm gonna choose OK so now you can literally press record so mine to say this now input device settings with the project sample rate and that is because I am recording with Adobe Audition and as you can see my voice is recording now and this is a paid software you can go have a check out Audition but this Audacity will work so if I just go back to preferences there should be some in here um, should be able to sort this out I have done it before where it's been recording with two um, no that is right let's just try this one uh, high quality, high quality. Alright, sorry about this then, but what you would do is you'd click record and then you would see your voice being recorded as it would be um, in Audacity. I'll do a little video at the side to show you what it'll look like. And then once finished you can stop it and then you can edit it and if you go to um, generate you can do a lot of all these things here, white noise, tone, silence, and then you've got all these effects. You've got fade in, fade out, you've got um, a lot of cross fading and then you can have multiple tracks all in here to edit and then you can also export as a WAV or an MP3 
so you can do that and it does work really well so that's your own WAV so I always rec exit out mine of this in as a WAV and I find um, they sound a lot better than MP3 but it's up to you what you really want to use um, some play things don't take you know editing things don't take um, WAV so you can always you know put it as an MP3 but in effects there's so many effects here that if I go into audition you get the ex you know over there um, or I'd have to go into edit and other things but you get the exact same sort of well a range of effects you don't get the exact same but this is free and you get so many you know amplify bass boost you know there's absolutely loads of stuff and it is a really good software to get for free very easy to use and probably one of the best free ones out there there's nothing that stands up to this so I hope you enjoy this video guys and um, please comment rate and subscribe yeah thanks. <laughs>